Good evening, and welcome to a special edition of the Work Report for February 27th. Keeping America Vigilant 2021. Rebellion against God. Representative Greg Stubbe of Florida gave a biblical tongue lashing to his fellow colleagues against the Equality Act, which aims to separate biological sex from gender identity. Stubbe set forth that, quote, whenever a nation's laws no longer reflect the standards of God, that nation is in rebellion against him and will inevitably bear the consequences. At the conclusion of Stubbe's proclamation, Jerry Nadler of the Swamp Establishment shockingly rejects the will of God by saying, quote, What any religious tradition ascribes as God's will is no concern of this Congress. Take a look. It's not clothing or personal style that offends God, but rather the use of one's appearance to act out or take on a sexual identity different from the one biologically assigned by God at birth. In his wisdom, God intentionally made each individual uniquely either male or female. When men or women claim to be able to choose their own sexual identity, they are making a statement that God did not know what he was doing when he created them. I'm going to quote directly from Dr. Tony Evans' commentary Bible on this passage of Scripture. Men and women equally share in bearing the image of God, but he has designed them to be distinct from and complementary toward one another. The gender confusion that exists in our culture today is a clear rejection of God's good design. Whenever a nation's laws no longer reflect the standards of God, that nation is in rebellion against him and will inevitably bear the consequences. Gentlemen will suspend. The House will be in order. Gentlemen, may continue. I'm going to read that line again. Whenever a nation's laws no longer reflect the standards of God, that nation is in rebellion against him and will inevitably bear the consequences. And I think we are seeing the consequences of rejecting God here in our country today. And this bill speaks directly against what is laid out in Scripture. Our government, through this bill, is going to redefine what a woman is and what a man is. It can be anyone who identifies in that gender... Mr. Stubbe, what any religious tradition ascribes as God's will is no concern of this Congress. How disgusting is this, America? Our very own Congress has rejected God and in doing so, sworn allegiance to the devil himself. Mr. Stubbe's assertions are 100% correct, and we couldn't have put it better ourselves. God created male and female, and while many struggle in this nation with this form of gender confusion, it cannot be implemented in the foundation of our great country, who has and always has stood with God the Almighty. America belongs to him. Pray, folks, for God's forgiveness of Jerry Nadler's rejection of him, as this is not the view of the American people. We are and always will be one nation under God. May God bless the USA. Thanks for watching, America. And if you haven't done so already, please go to thewarfreport.com to sign up for our new platform subscription now before we leave YouTube and all other platforms for good in the next several days. You can choose from our regular monthly subscription for $1.99 a month, our discounted subscription for the military, senior citizens, and those experiencing financial hardship for $1.36 a month, or our new annual subscription by viewer request for only $15 a year. You do not need a PayPal account to subscribe. Simply click the PayPal button on the subscription page and then click Guest Checkout or Pay with Credit or Debit Card, whichever option shows up on your screen. We appreciate your support and we love you all. This has been a special edition of the Worth Report for February 27th, keeping you vigilant, America 2021. God bless you all. God bless President Trump and God bless America.